This is a relatively large upgrade for Android 11 and Android 10. The Zlink version is updated. It mainly solves the problem that CarPlay is difficult to connect, and the PEMP knob can switch the left and right menus through the knob on the Android interface. Hello, everyone. Now let's demonstrate the version update of Android 11. The new version is 2.4.2. We can see the version from the setting options. Please note that if you want to upgrade version 2.4.2, you must upgrade from version 2.2.3. For older system versions, you need to upgrade to 2.2.3 before upgrading to 2.4.2. The new system version has optimized the operation mode of the knob. Now you can directly turn the iDrive knob to enter the small menu on the left. The old system version needs to move the knob to the left. Please pay attention to the video demonstration. Just turn the knob to switch between the main menu and the small menu on the left. The operation experience is also optimized including the aftermarket knob. There is also an update of Slink app. Open Slink in the apps menu, and you can see that the version number has been upgraded to May 2, 1968. When you use CarPlay, the iDrive knob can normally operate the CarPlay interface, the old version may not operate CarPlay with the knob. If you can't find the Bluetooth of the Android device with your mobile phone, you can search the mobile phone Bluetooth on the Android device and connect. The new version adds the ODA automatic update function. If the download is unsuccessful, do not update the system version. Next is the version update of the Android 10 device. The version number of the new system version is 3.9.1. We can't see the system version from the setting options. The Android 10 system mainly fixes the bug displayed in the Bluetooth phone book.
In addition, the first connection speed, and the second connection speed of CarPlay of most models of iPhones, are optimized. If you want to upgrade the system, please contact us through email, and we will send you the upgrade software in the first time. In the process of updating the system version, the following three problems may be encountered. Please refer to the solutions in the video. When the screen is blank, and the main interface is not displayed, please operate according to the video steps. When there is an upgrade error, this screen will appear, slide the screen to select the appropriate option to operate according to the video. Step 1, finger from the top to slide down, let the cursor select to factory data reset. Step 2, slide your finger from left to right until the no or yes menu appears. Step 3, slide your finger down again from the top and let the cursor select yes. Step 4. Slide your finger to the right again, it will then automatically restore the factory settings. If the U-Disk format is not FAT32, this screen will appear. Please format the U-Disk into FAT32 format before upgrading.